Engineer Mahmoud al Bastaki is the CEO of Dubai Trade, an entity that is playing a major role in developing the UAE economy. It's safe to say that business never sleeps in Dubai, and as the Emirate continues to witness trade activity unlike ever before, Dubai Trade is crucial in supporting many of these enterprises. With a renewed focus on the non-oil economy of the Emirate of Dubai, the role of Dubai Trade has become increasingly important to help realize the ambitious plans of the Emirate. And we sat down with engineer Mahmoud al Bastiki to find out exactly how Dubai Trade is supporting this vision. Dubai has always had a strong history when it comes to opening up and facilitating trade relationships across the region. So, what is it about the Emirate of Dubai that gives it an advantage in this? For us, uh, trade has a history uh, more than 100 years now in Dubai. Uh, the city started as a pearl city. Uh, then it has started working, uh, focusing on the sea, uh, sea trade. Uh, everything started in Dubai, on Dubai Creek, uh, which was the backbone of economy for uh, 50, 60 years. Uh, Dubai Creek, uh, or Khor Dubai in Arabic we call it, uh, has been receiving lots of dows, uh, or we call it in Arabic lunches or lunch, uh, lunchar, uh, which is wooden, wooden ships, uh, still exist mm. for certain shipments uh, to the region uh, nearby. But the whole thing started from the creek, uh, receiving uh, dows and wooden ships, uh, feeding uh, Zanzibar, Iran, Karachi, Yemen, uh, from Dubai. Uh, so the city built its core and uh, location uh, that is uh, nearby, uh, being the center between east and west, mm. close to Africa, close to the Middle East, uh, in the middle of GCC. Uh, and it's built its core in trade. While tourism now plays an increasingly important role in Dubai, one of the traditional pillars of the non-oil economy has always been its position as a vital hub for trade. So aside from its strategic location, how important has the continued development of its transport infrastructure over air, land and sea been in cementing its position in the region? I started with Dubai Creek. Uh, this represents the maritime uh, part of the uh, infrastructure. Uh, in the early 70s, uh, His Highness Sheikh Rashid bin Saeed Al Maktoum, the founder of Dubai, uh, he has uh, developed Port Rashid, which is on the Dubai, Dubai side. Uh, back then, it was the state-of-the-art port uh, with a high capacity to, to cater for the growth for Dubai. Uh, being the hub in the region. Right after that couple of years came Jabal Ali, the story of Jabal Ali, which is the really success story of Dubai uh, that has uh, taken Dubai to the next level. Jabal Ali port, uh, it's a natural harbor. Uh, it's the biggest man-made port in the region. Uh, and it's the seventh largest uh, port in the world. Jabal Ali today handled uh, last year more than 15 million uh, containers. It has a capacity, uh, it will reach around 19 million uh, by the end of the year. And uh, we'll continue developing more terminals to cater for the growth in the region. We want to be ahead of the game. We want to cater for the future needs for the next generation. From the air, air side, uh, Dubai International Airport has a long history of development. People are proud now to travel through uh, Dubai International Airport. Uh, it's the first number one in the world in terms of international passengers. And when passengers come, they bring cargo with them. And uh, Emirates uh, Airlines played a big role in, uh, in helping uh, yeah. cargo movement uh, with their also their cargo side, which is Emirates Sky Cargo. And with the help of uh, the new airport, Al Maktoum Airport, Al Maktoum International Airport, uh, it will have a capacity, once it's fully finished, 12 million tons of cargo. This is the biggest uh, aeropolis uh, city in the world. We are having also rail coming, which is a Tahad rail, which will add uh, true multimodal dimensions to the UAE. It will reach Jabal Ali in the next uh, year or two. And with the future expansion that it will connect the whole GCC, uh, of cargo and passengers. 
Now, can you talk to us about Dubai Trade? What is its role and how successful has it been in developing and supporting the trade and logistics sectors in the Emirate? Dubai Trade's main role today is to enable seamless trade. How we do that? Whatever we do, whatever initiative we do, we make trade easier, faster, and, uh, and better in all means. How we do that? Again, by using technology and by continuous improvement in uh, business processes related to import, export, re-export, transshipment, and related to uh, logistics of cargo. Mm -hmm. Our main role relies on, uh, we are handling the single window of cargo cleaners, which is DubaiTrade.ae. It's been there for, uh, for more than 13 years. All the trading community uh, encountering, uh, interacting with ports of Jabal Ali or Dubai Customs or Jabal Ali Free Zone, they all come every day log into Dubai Trade with one username, one password. They log into all their services related to cargo clearance and transportation and shipping and freight forwarding uh, through a single uh, channel. And uh, they get uh, all their transactions done seamlessly online. The other role that Dubai Trade plays, which is the uh, support that we give to the customers. We give 24 hours support of a contact center that we operate and manage in Dubai Trade in three languages helping uh, communities who have inquiries or clarification about certain messages online uh, and supporting them in case, in case they need any uh, further assistance. Mm -hmm. The other thing that our role will be is uh, to, um, to train and to enhance the, the knowledge capital of the training community in Dubai. Because for us, uh, an enlightened customers is better for the economy because this leads to less error faster turnaround of uh, container handling and uh, better GDP, higher economy for us. So that's our main role in Dubai Trade. Uh, we want to put Dubai to be the logistics hub in the world uh, by all the initiatives that we do. Welcome back. The UAE is home to more than 30 free zones. The highest number of these free zones are located in Dubai. So how does the services that Dubai Trade offers integrate and support the work of free zones in the Emirate? What is the role of the free zones in Dubai and how does the services that Dubai Trade offer integrate and support them? See, Dubai has become very uh, notorious for having free zones and we have uh, gained a lot of uh, momentum uh, from all over the world for companies to, to establish in these free zones. We have companies who establish in, in the airport side, in, in uh, Davza, uh, being close to the airport, uh, that's an advantage to them. We have companies uh, established in Jebel Ali free zone, uh, taking advantage of the being near the port of Jebel Ali, which is the main uh, seaport in the region. Uh, and we have free zones are in the, in the DMCC and uh, DI, Dubai Internet City. So all these companies are into different uh, areas. Whenever they have an import or export of businesses that they do, they come to Dubai Trade. Right. So Dubai Trade is for free zone companies and non-free zone companies. Okay. So if their business is in trade, in import, export, all these companies, they log into Dubai Trade, they have account with us, and we help them in all their customs declaration and their port handling, uh, anything has to do with the truck movements and, and the Emirates. Now, how important have e-services and smart technologies been in streamlining the commercial enterprises of Dubai Trade's business partners? If you look at business partners, we look at service providers and the trading community. Service provider, when I mean, when I mean by service provider, are the port operator, which is Jabal Ali, Dubai Customs. We are, these are service provider or Jabal Ali Free Zone. So what have we done as Dubai Trade, uh, how successful we are to help those service providers to, serve, to, to, uh, to do their business? First, I would say uh, we have done cost saving for them because for them to deploy all these counter employees to help the customers, yeah. today they don't need to do that. So it's a resource optimization and right. cost saving on the, uh, on the service provider. The other thing is the efficiency and productivity. Mm -hmm. Those service providers being passports or custom, they will, they will focus on their core business. 
and uh, they'll leave the, the hassle of uh, handling customers online to Dubai trade mm -hmm. and they'll focus on their uh, fundamental uh, nature of their business mm -hmm. and increase their efficiency and productivity of providing it to the community. The third point to the service provider that uh, Dubai trade has uh, proven is the, the level of precision mm -hmm. because manual processes usually are associated with errors human errors yeah. and uh, mistakes and delays. From the trading point community, because I said business partners are to service providers yeah. and the trading community. Trading communities are the recipient of the services. The recipient of the services, uh, basically they get, they, they get advantage of the, of the internet and the online world, which is convenience. Anywhere, anytime they can get the services. Mm -hmm. They don't need to, uh, they, uh, it reduces time mm -hmm. of uh, physically driving to the counters and waiting and getting the approval, everything is done online, real time, you get the approval. It reduces the uh, number of documents, you don't handle papers, uh, you don't need to save the papers, everything is done online. And uh, the convenience, as I, I talked about, plus the visibility and transparency. We are seeing a huge amount of development and investment surrounding areas such as Dubai South, Al Maktoum International Airport and the Expo 2020 site. So when complete, what will be the impact of this fully developed trade and logistics corridor for the economy of Dubai? This will add another dimension to Dubai. Dubai wants to be the trading and logistics hub of the world. Yeah. By achieving that, you need to have the state-of-the-art uh, infrastructure from all the players, having all the unit, uh, units of sea, air, land and rail talking to each other, this will put Dubai in the next, uh, I would say, 50 years ahead of the game and the UAE. Uh, today, uh, sea air uh, shipment is bound to increase more and more. Uh, as you know, the location of Dubai and UAE is in the close to a 2 billion population from China and uh, Africa and Middle East. So uh, having uh, advanced connectivity among the, all the players will open doors, more doors and more uh, territories to, to, reach, to reach to. Yeah. Among the city, we have the virtual corridors connecting sea and air and the uh, international airport with Al Maktoum airport or the international airport uh, to the seaport. All these virtual connectivity, which is not only the physicals, Talking about even the, the customs and the legal part of it, it's all connected as it's considered as a one custom bonded area. So we are ready for the next era. That brings us to the end of our program. If you would like to know more about any of the stories you have seen tonight, you can contact us at UAE Weekly at city7tv.com or by calling us on 04367 2230. From myself and the entire team, have a great week ahead.